A violent week for the city of Memphis and the impact is being felt right here in Central Texas. Bond was revoked for the suspect accused of abducting and murdering a Baylor University graduate in Memphis. Eliza Fletcher was out jogging Friday morning when detectives say a man ran up on her, forcing her into a black SUV. Fletcher's murder is sparking outrage and worry across the running community. Meredith Haas is live in the newsroom with more on how women runners are responding in our area. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning, Tahesha. The tragic loss of the Baylor alum can't be undone, but what we can work to is help ease the minds of those worried because of it. So if you're trying to figure out how to best protect yourself these days, here are a few tips from experts. First, make sure to scream. Run away if you can. If you can't, experts say, experts say knowing hand-to-hand -hand combat is your next best bet. Sometimes you won't have enough time to pull out that mace or another weapon. I found out that jujitsu can be the best form of self-defense. Meher Banau at MB Defense has made sure to bring her teachings to women ac all across the country, including right here in Central Texas. We work on the escapes and then also the fear factor, right? Uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, it's empowering women uh, to be able to protect themselves, uh, you know, when they're walking around by themselves, going grocery shopping or going, you know, on a jog. Mayer provides that real world experience that she says is so important. She says repetition is key in training because the first hurdle is getting over the fear of being attacked. And there's one other place, Grappler's Lair in Temple. It teaches mar mixed martial arts. They'll hold a free session anyone can sign up for next Thursday. Tahesha, we'll have all these posted on our site later this morning on KCENTV.com. All right, Meredith, thank you very much. Self-defense, very important to know and empowering once you get that information.